tinkering, a foundation of humankind that has led to many of the world's greatest inventions and has the power to save the world from climate change. Production has become so cheap and efficient that it costs less to buy something new rather than fixing it when it breaks. This has become the new norm in our fast-paced lives and has created the saying, throw it in the gutter and buy another. This is the sad reality which we live in today. When things break, it just doesn't make sense to try to fix it just because you can go buy a new one for less than the price it costs to fix it. I want you to think back and think of what did you do when something broke? Did you fix it? Probably not. You probably threw it away and bought a new one. What are the downsides of such cheap and efficient production? How does broken stuff end up in a landfill? And how can we have the knowledge to fix our own stuff when it breaks? Over the past 50 years, production has changed drastically. Now things are so cheap to make because they're made overseas which have cheap labor, which then results in cheap products that you can buy everywhere. This does sound like a good thing, but it has one side effect that is definitely not very good. Instead, how you used to do, you would buy one high quality thing that would break occasionally, but you could go fix it easily with a few tools. But now that just is not the case. Now things are even designed specifically to break. So you throw it away and buy a new one. This is just not sustainable. So now what? We got our item, it broke, we threw it away and buy a new one. It's out of our heads, we don't think about it. Well, that's not actually what happens. When you throw it away, it hopefully ends up in a landfill, which is sort of good, but now we're starting to have mountains of trash of things that we broke, which is definitely not good. We're using the valuable land to hold our trash, and it will be there much longer than we will be there on Earth, which is also not very good. So now what you're probably thinking is, well, that's definitely not good. What can I do? I mean, what's the solution to this problem? Well, I'm going to take you on a story where I kind of found how this all works. So it actually has to do with the things that are standing on the back side of me. So bicycles, they to you might just look like bicycles, but when I found them, they were sitting by a dumpster and just, you could barely recognize them as a bicycle. So I do, I find them in alleys and such, I bring them home and I start fixing them. And what's great about a bicycle is that they can be as simple as you want them to or as complicated as you can't even imagine. So over time, I've been collecting bicycles and fixing them. And before I had no knowledge of fixing bicycles, but as I kept getting more and just working on them, and getting my hands dirty, I really started to learn the ropes of a bicycle. I can now say that I've like worked on every single part of my bike, which is really amazing. And I've saved dozens of bikes from just being thrown away. I've even made a decent profit selling them on Craigslist. And this leads me back to what I really want you to take away from this TED Talk is, so let's tinker on things. Let's get our hands dirty, grab some tools, dig into something that's broken. And it can actually be way super duper fun. You just have to try it. And 
you'll definitely, it will be frustrating. You will never get anything as, e it won't be as easy as you think it is. And that's okay because once you get it done, it's a great reward. So, and you save something from ending up in the landfill. You fixed it, it will keep on using it for as long as you want to, and it stays out of the landfill, and you're saving money, which is always a good thing. So, what I want you to do is when something breaks, and I'm not saying that everything's gonna break tomorrow, but just saying if it breaks, instead of just throwing it away right away, why don't you, I don't know, grab a screwdriver, take it apart, see, maybe do a little bit of YouTubing or seeing how something works, and maybe you can fix it so that you can use it for tomorrow. So, thanks for watching my TED Talk.